Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Club. This time I'm going to show you how to set up translation in Scratch. Now Scratch can uh, translate text into text, but there's also a way of having the, uh, having the text spoken as well. I'm going to show you both ways uh, for this, uh, this Code Club. Now in the bottom left of the screen, I have these extensions in Scratch. So if you click here, we'll just let it load. There are some quite interesting extensions in Scratch 3. Um, this was a version of Scratch that was updated. I'm at scratch.mit.edu. Um, this is how my classes use Scratch. So we use the web version, but it was updated uh, in the last 18 months or so to Scratch 3 and these extensions are, are quite new. So we, you can see we have uh, Microbit, Lego Mindstorms. We also have a pen that we can uh, draw, uh, draw with as well. It's quite useful for drawing shapes with Python Turtle um, with some of my uh, year seven and eight students um, to prepare students for that. We'll often use Scratch and just get our our logic uh, correct that's quite useful anyway what we're going to do today is um, we're going to use this text to speech and uh, uh, translate so you can see here there's collaboration with amazon web services and google we're going to use both of them so to enable these click this one and just let it load There we go, and click add extension again. And click this one. Now this just takes a few seconds, but you can see we've got some new blocks here, which we're going to use. So the first blocks in Scratch always when green flag clicked so when i when we click this it'll start and i'm going to use ask so we're going to ask hey what word or phrase would you like me to translate now this is very similar to the input command in in python so this will the sprite or the program uh, will wait for a response and what we're going to use we're going to set a variable so I'm going to set a variable uh, called uh, I'm going to call it translate. This will be this will be the phrase. So here we go. So we're going to set translate to the answer. So I go back into sensing. And we have the answer there. So that's this means Whatever, when I click here, whatever I type in, uh, hello, let's translate hello, that will be stored now. Just get this correct. Now with the, let's just check and see that our variables have been stored correctly. In Scratch, we can tick this box and it will show the contents of our variables. So if I just run it again, and I say, hello, how are you? We can see up here, hello, how are you is stored. So now we're going to use these other blocks here. So we're going to use this. We're going to use these two blocks 
we're going to snap them on top of each other so speak hello but we're going to translate and rather than hello we're going to add the translate variable now school where i'm teaching french is used french so we're going to now, I remember what to hello in French is, so let's do that. Hello, what word or phrase would you like me to translate? Hello. So we can hear the, the sprite or the program uh, saying bonjour in a lady's voice. I can also add add this so i'm going to use the say blocks so say there we go so say tra translate so um yes we need to again put the variable over over that hello and when i run this stop let's change that to french as well otherwise this won't look quite right be speaking french but speaking uh, saying in will be in thai there so let's have them both in french so i'd say hello enter there you go now you can try more complicated phrases hello it is raining today there you go now remember in scratch to give your your code a name so uh, translation translation program I'm going to share that as well there you go well that's it everyone i will post some more code soon take care bye